Welcome back. In today's lesson, we're gonna dive headfirst into the loan process. When you apply for a mortgage loan, it's not as simple as signing the papers and paying your monthly payment. Here's a graphic of the loan process. Today, we're gonna to provide a little bit more information on each one of these steps so you can move swiftly throughout. Step number one, the loan officer talks with the client and goes through their process with them. They may ask the borrower what they're looking for, purchase or refinance, how much they wanna pay, all those sorts of questions. Essentially, the loan officer is having this conversation with the borrower to understand their situation and what they're looking for in a home loan. The loan now goes through the pre-approval process. So the loan officer is gonna gather information such as job history, credit score, debt to income ratio, all that sort of information to eventually come up with the pre-approval letter. This letter states how much the borrower is approved for in buying a home. We don't wanna give someone a pre-approval letter for $500,000 if they really can only afford $250,000. This is the process of determining that. Ideally, we do recommend getting this pre-approval letter prior to even house hunting. This shows the seller you're qualified and able to purchase this home you're looking for. This also gives you, as a borrower, a leg up against other competition who may not have this pre-approval letter. In this case, the borrower will find the home they're looking for, and if their offer gets accepted, they can go ahead and move on to step number two, the contract. The contract cannot be made until the borrower has actually found a house. What under contract really means is that the seller has accepted the buyer's offer. From here, a purchase agreement has been signed, but not all contingencies have been met. This purchase agreement solidifies the moving date as well as the purchase price. While the loan is under contract, the loan coordinator will work with the borrower through inspections and the appraisal process. Step three is processing. Following contract, the loan will be sent down to the processor. When the processor gets their files ready, they'll send this loan down to the underwriting team. This process may go back and forth. It's not ideal to go back and forth, but the underwriter may feel as though some information needs to be proven or is missing and send it back to the processor. The underwriter is really that final person assessing somebody's finances. They really have to make sure everything is proven and accurate, and this is where it gets complicated. Someone can't just say they make $200,000, they have to prove that they're really making that $200,000 because the underwriter has to be very particular about looking at every aspect of somebody's financial portfolio to make sure they're not putting themselves at risk by providing this loan. Step number four, once the documents look good and accurate, the underwriter will give the conditions approval and get the clear to close. From here, the borrower is pretty much all set. They might need a little bit more information for the loan commitment, but the loan processor and loan officer will work directly with them for that. The final stage in the loan process is that clear to close. When the final loan profile is reviewed for accuracy and completeness one last time, the clear to close is given. At this point, the borrower's all set. Congratulations, now all they must do is sign the papers. Step six, the closing team will get all of the documents together and the borrower will come in and sign the closing papers and pay the closing costs. A closing disclosure is sent to the borrower three days prior, outlining all of the closing fees. Just like a realtor charges a fee to help you sell your home, a lender will charge a fee to help you find the perfect home loan for you. We want you to feel comfortable knowing all of the closing costs you can expect to pay prior to coming to the table. Here, the borrower has made it to home ownership and their process is complete. This is a deeper look into the loan process you need to know as a borrower. Remember that not all loans are the same and sometimes this process may fall a bit differently. With the right team by your side, this process will be smooth and exciting regardless. 